Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Stepford map, and this time around I've got a project off in the opposite corner to where we've been uh, working for most of the series. It occurred to me that, uh, you know, doing something else over here in a different corner would be kind of cool. So, uh, this is the uh, food processing plant we uh, established a connection to. Uh, with a farm last time around. I really should uh, arrange to deliver food to at least two of these towns. But that's not today's project. Today's project is actually um, uh, a little bit uh, more based on uh, fluids. So uh, I was studying the map and I uh, discovered, you know, it's kind of funny. I made the map and I don't know where anything is. Uh, I discovered that we have a uh, oil refinery here and we have an oil well here and an oil well here, right? And then there's a fuel refinery here. And there is also uh, a fuel demand in Frostbite Falls, which is kind of funny, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on uh, per, uh, building the uh, crude oil to fuel chain and supplying Frostbite Falls with fuel. And possibly going further afield and supplying maybe San Angeles over here as well. Uh, but uh, we're going to start with plumbing it up the uh, oil refinery. Now... Uh, we need to get over to the uh, oil well. Now this here is uh, up on a sort of plateau. And if we uh, go over here, we find um, this one here. We should be able to bring it in, sneak it in past Castle Rock. And then there's the other one over here. I'm not sure. It's not going to be convenient. Um, actually, it's definitely not going to be convenient. So, uh, but I see that there's one up here, uh, which uh, may be more convenient because we should be able to snake it in along this road and then uh, come in also to Castle Rock from above. So that is exactly what we're going to do. And then um, I think I'll bring the uh, delivery to the uh, fuel refinery in along past uh, Danville. So uh, let's start out with a uh, station. Uh, it's going to be standard, no catenary. We'll start with uh, with um, uh, whatchamacallit, 160 meters. And we should only need two platforms here. So uh, let's uh, come around. We'll do Ah, we can do this. Um, no, I think we want it to want to do this. Do it on about that angle. No, we can't do it on that angle. Um, yeah, we got a collision if we try to do it on that angle. But we can make it. We can make it work on that angle. Okay, so this is the Castle Rock oil refinery, uh, right? So, oil refinery. Yes. Now, I need to get up and around. So, over this way. So, uh, and this, this line is going to be the train that continues all the way through to the, um, to the uh, uh, fuel refinery. Now, if we do this, okay, we, we can go under the road. I think I think that is acceptable. No, let's uh, let's um, try that again. Do this. No catenary. Do this. Do that. Uh, like that. Okay. Now this. Um, I'm not sure, uh, actually, uh, I'm thinking, no, maybe I don't want a tunnel here. Yeah, I think I don't. 
Um, okay, so we'll try it again. Uh, so we do this on maximum up bubble, like that, right? Uh, this road here is in the way, so we'll just uh, clobber it. You clobbered more than you needed to there. Yeah, yeah, I did. But if we keep going on maximum up bubble there, yeah, yeah, okay, that'll work. Uh, we should be able to come around up here. Okay. Uh, well, uh, before you forget, you should probably plumb that road back in. Uh, yeah, I probably should. Um, okay, so it's that. We do this. We do this. Uh, do this. Um, what if we select a different bridge, like, say, that one? No, that's not going to work well. What about this one? Um, that kind of works. So take it. And then, uh, then build it again. Uh, yeah, I, I'd rather, uh, uh, thought I might do that. Okay. Now, what's astounding about this is we've got bridge pillars on both sides. So, you know, that's kind of unusual. Now, if we go up here, we need to get a track going off this way and a track going off this way. Yeah. That one's going to be harder to get to because we have the other rail line there. Okay. So, let's... Uh, well, these are in the way, so let's get rid of them. Okay. Now, we're going to come up around this way. Uh, about like that. No, about like that. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll do. And then, uh, you know, bring the other track. Because, well, you know, we want the other track. Um, okay. Now, I could just bash right through the mountain, but I'm going to try being a little more elegant with this. Try bringing it uh, through the pass here. Because the pass looks like it's actually doable. So, so let's, uh, let's try the pass with uh, a little bit of a tunnel through the top there. Yeah. Because I think that's, um, how would the colonel put it, tasteful. Uh, then, uh, we need to wind around up to this other pass. Uh, so, uh, so if we come out about here, yeah, if we come out about here, then we should be able to, Should be able to come around something like this. Uh, wait a minute. Hey. Hey, we can do that without a tunnel. And where is the, the track? Um, oh. Okay. Um... Okay, we can come around like this. Yeah. Then you can come around like this. Oh, yeah, 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 you can. Uh, then you need to come around like this. Well, I don't know so much about need, but uh, it does appear to work. And we can get a little bit, grab a little bit of a tunnel through the nose of the, the mountain there. And, uh, maybe we can do this. Okay, and we want to come around that side, obviously, so that we can get above ground. So, over to about here, I think. Now, 
I don't think I can avoid that tunnel. Uh, not completely, anyway. But anyway, let's see if we can uh, chuck in a uh, train station here. Well, we can, but that's uh, not ideal. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to rethink that, uh, that uh, rail line. So we'll take this out. Now, I, this is the sort of thing that I thought I would uh, possibly uh, you know, fast forward through. But I'm thinking that this is actually the interesting part of the mess. Uh, so it occurs to me that maybe uh, fast forwarding through it might not be such the such an ideal uh, operation. Well, that will work. Okay, so that's El Dorado oil well. Uh, okay, uh, oil well. Okay. Now I need to be going. Okay, this road's going to be in the way. So let's just preemptively get it out of the way. Okay. And take out more of that. Okay, we need uh, tracks. Yes. So, uh, well, we'll come out here relatively level-ish. Um, like that. Uh, and that way we can get our, uh, our split point there. Okay, now. Uh, can we get... Yeah, we're way too high there, so... Uh, can we, yeah, we don't, uh, we don't even connect. So if we maximum down bubble this, uh, say like that, yeah, and then we continue to max down bubble it around to here, yeah, we can go through the nose of the, we can go through the ridge. Ah, these trees just get in the way. Now uh, we can. Oh, whoops! Now we can go in like uh, through here. Ah, that will connect. Okay, I can live with that. Um, is that the right uh, right saw? It is. I think. Okay. Well, put the rope back. Uh. Okay. Okay, you put the road back. Now, finish building your rail line. Okay, well, so we just uh, run the rail through here. Well, it is nice having a couple billion dollars in the uh, bank, isn't it? Yeah, this is definitely a nicer uh, path than just bashing straight through the mountain. Uh, it's longer, of course, but it uh, it's it's a little less egregious than bashing straight through a mountain. Now, from here, we need to go to here, uh, and that means I think we bash through the mountain. You just said, yeah, I know. Uh, so we just, uh, you know, bang around like this. Yeah, that'll probably do. Bang around like this. Okay. Now, you just need to uh, come up to about there. Yeah. Now, how are you going to get get past here? Well, you just bang it through the mountain. Actually, that's not that's not too bad. Uh, okay, so we'll bang it through the mountain. Good, we banged it through the mountain. Now we need to get all the way over to this place here, uh, where we will also have a through on to Frostbite Falls. But I'm wondering if maybe I should just do Frostbite Falls. Yeah, maybe do the final leg to Frostbite Falls with a truck. 
because that would be different. Okay, no, buildings. Uh, okay, well, if I'm going to do that, then I'll just need one uh, track here. Right, so this is Frostbite Falls Fuel Refinery. Uh, Frostbite Falls Fuel Refinery. Okay, and then I can just uh, dead end the uh, track here. Uh, right. So, uh, out of curiosity, if we just wang this up here, can we even get up there? We can. What if we do this? Well... Yeah, I can live with that. Oh, you can, can you? Yeah, yeah, I can. Well, I can't live with that. Uh, okay. Good, right, yes. Uh, so we come on with this thing all the way up here. Yep. Now we grab the smoothing gun. Uh, we make it bigger. And we do this. No, we make it stronger, and we do this. Yeah, that looks a little less egregious now. Uh, okay, so, uh, we can live with that. Now, uh, Need to put some signals on this. Definitely need one of those. And uh, st stick a few more in along here. There's only going to be a couple trains running on here, probably, but... You know... Uh, I don't need a crossover here. Uh, I'll need one here, ultimately. Um... I'm going to need it to go this way. Okay. And we put this here. Oh, look. And we can put uh, more of these things in. Uh, there's probably going to be a couple trains along here. Uh, we'll have a divergence point over here, probably. Uh, right over here. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to get this uh, banged in here. Um, and then uh, I'm going to fling a train at it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to fling a train at it. And then uh, we're going to ride the train. Well, we're going to ride the train, are we? Yeah, yeah, we're going to ride the train. Uh, okay. Now, I'm going to need to get a uh, depot in here. So let's uh, just bang one in over here. Well, let's bang that in a little better. Um, let's do it this way. And then do this. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably better. Uh, so we bang in the uh, depot. Yep. Uh, so we're going to buy uh, a diesel train. Uh, we're going to use an SD40 because it has more power. And then we need tank cars. Now this one, 30 tons, 20 tons. Yeah, we'll use this one. It's shorter. No, 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 no. I do that all the time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, yeah, that's about as long as we want to get it. So we'll buy it. Yep. New line. Uh, so we're going to start over here. I'm going to pause this, actually. I'm going to start over here. Then go to here, and then go to here. Yep, and then it goes all the way back to the oil well. Yeah, okay. Uh, so this is going to be cargo rail, 
El Dorado oil well to Castle Rock uh, oil refinery to Frostbite Falls fuel refinery. Okay, good. Uh, you know, that took us 20 minutes. So, you know, uh, writing the, uh, the, I'm going to hold off writing that I'm, uh, and I'm going to plumb in a, uh, truck line, uh, up to, uh, Frostbite Falls. Uh, okay. So, uh, we need a building, uh, we need a truck unload stop and, uh, we need it about, I don't know, about, about here. Okay, and then we go over to, I think you can unload with a semi there anyway. Uh, buildings, we need one of those. Uh, we'll make it 30 meters length. Now, if we bang it in over here, uh, yeah, here. Okay. Uh, and this will also be Frostbite Falls fuel refinery. Refinery. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now I just need to grab uh, roads. Okay. Uh, bring this around. See, we don't have to do uh, too much here to uh, get uh, a truck line in. So I'm going to need a uh, depot. Uh, and we'll put it over here. Uh, right about here will do. Yeah. Uh, so we'll buy vehicles. We'll buy cargo. And if we come down here... I don't, th I think you need an actual stop to use these. Um, that carries 25. These are smaller. Well, the, the Isuzu tank take, does 80 and it carries 18. You know what? It's smaller. Uh, I think I'll go for that. I'll put 15 of them on here because it's a reasonably long haul. It's too many, but I'm going to put that put that many and then new line here to here. Yep. Okay. That's cargo truck to... That's uh, Frostbite Falls uh, uh, Fuel Refinery, F-U-E-L, Refinery to Frostbite Falls. Okay. So we're going to do that. Now uh, we're going to ride the, uh, the train. Uh, okay, so we'll, we'll uh, do this. Uh, and then we'll do this. And off we go on to the uh, line. And we'll just see if I've screwed anything up too egregiously. Yeah, after this uh, train ride, um, I'll be able to check in on uh, on the uh, the fuel uh, delivery to Frostbite Falls. Uh, just see how that uh, truck line's doing. It can lose money. Uh, we've got a fairly high capacity on the train. I will extend the stations if I need to. Uh, the terminus stations, I don't need to extend the middle station. Uh, if we extend the train, I won't need to extend the uh, platform on here. But anyway, uh, okay, so here's our uh, oil refinery. We're going through the other way. Um, not sure what I'm going to do when I put the second uh, uh, train in here. 
I might need to reverse that crossover, actually. Maybe just drop off on both of them on the same platform. Uh, I just want to see what this looks like going through that uh, pass there. So the uh, the SD40 is uh, keeping us up at a decent speed here, so... Uh, and up we go. Lots of trees. I might have to come in with the, the deforestation brush and get rid of a bunch of them. But it does look nice. And around we go into, uh, yeah, we're just winding through the trees. Oh, this actually is kind of nice. And we got the tunnel going through the uh, ridge. Yeah, which is quite reasonable. Ooh, that looks nice. Right, this is a tight corner, so we need to slow down for it. Get a bit of a wiggle here. Uh, if I cared enough about that, I'd try and straighten that wiggle out, but I don't. Uh, it's fine. It's mountains. And then we've got uh, go climbing down the mountain here. Yeah. Well, this is nice, actually. Quite nice. Quite, uh, quite believable, actually. Uh, that you might run a rail line like this. And you can see the road way down in the bottom of the valley uh, as we stayed up in the heights here. We have another uh, tunnel here, which is quite long, but not terribly so. And where are we? And we come out into the... You know, I've, I've lost track of where we are now. But this is kind of nice. We're up to 80k. Ah, we're uh, through the uh, the mountains. We're coming up on the, uh, the oil well. Right, okay, good. Uh, I knew that because it was a new road there. And here we go. We're going to load up uh, a bunch of uh, crude oil. And then uh, head on back. Yeah, so that that line actually looks okay. Okay, and we're going to load up. Uh, how much are we going to load up? We're loading up 140-some. 146. Well, that's not bad. Well, we were, we're definitely not too long. We were able to turn around there. So we might end up with a full load uh, coming back the next time. Okay, now we're going back through the, uh, the way we came. Yes, we'll be getting a different view going this direction, you know. Uh, funny, you're looking the other direction. You get a different view. Who knew? Right. Uh, yeah, that's just kind of pointless blather. Well, so far so good. We got a pretty good down bubble going here. Um, Right. Yeah, this looks good going the, the other direction as well. Okay, we've come to the slow bit. Now let's see what it looks like peeking through the trees here. Can't see much anything through the trees in this direction. It just looks like wilderness and a cliff we can fall off of. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. 
Okay, now we should be able to speed up again shortly when the uh, back of the train passes the slow bit. Now we should be on the downhill uh, soon. Okay, yet yeah, we're speeding up now. Now I could have got away with a single track through here. In fact, I could have got away with a single track uh, and a lot of the uh, layout here, but it uh, it just seems to me to be better to have a dual track going on. Uh, then you can blithely fling extra trains at it if you need to, and you don't have to worry about uh, uh, deadlocking on a single track. Man, we just come out into the plateau here, and it's uh, just wide open. You know, we got the town sitting there. And we're going to drop off, uh, we're obviously going to drop off the oil. We'll probably take one or two uh, refined oil with us. And then uh, it'll be the second trip that picks up actually refined oil. And then, uh, yeah, these bridge abutments are actually not too close to the track either. So well, there's a win there. Okay, we'll drop off the oil. And we're taking two refined oil with us as we head on to the uh, fuel refinery. Now, let's see what this looks like going, uh, going through here. Well, this is okay so far. There's the depot we launched from. We got a little bit of a straight stretch here. Then we're going to pop through the uh, tunnel here. I don't remember how long the tunnel is, but uh, we'll pop through it and then we'll come out onto the plains there. Or the open terrain at the very least. Uh, yeah, this is going to be going downhill. No, it's not that long. Okay. Then we come through the cutting that uh, goes all the way down to the uh, to the fuel refinery uh, after this. But here we do come up. Here we are coming out on the open terrain. Uh, that uh, not as impressive as, it, as one might have expected it to be, but, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, taking the smoothing, smoothing gun to, to uh, smooth off the uh, tops of the embankments there. Uh, that was definitely a good call, I think. And it looks okay, so uh, I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with how that turned out. Now we're coming up on our fuel refinery. Okay. Well, let's uh, jump out now. Uh, our trucks are... Uh, spread out nicely going back and forth that might actually be the right number of trucks uh, yeah I'm kind of okay with that uh, we should uh, we should end up with one or two uh, uh, fuel appearing here yeah there's there's one there at least. 
Yeah, so we're going to take one with this uh, this truck here. Okay, so yeah, that uh, that will actually get operational. I'll probably end up uh, also taking fuel up to uh, maybe San Angeles. Um, as Frostbite Falls, uh, let's just take a look at it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not going to grow hugely um, without a lot of... Uh, work uh, connecting it with other towns and whatever so uh, yeah so this uh, train will merrily go back and forth and uh, you know let's uh, take a look here yeah we're gonna need two trains on there probably uh, so um, well I'll just put the second train on there now duplicate yeah okay because then by the time uh, this train gets back up there, there's going to be like 400 waiting. So, yeah. Uh, uh, so we, sh we should be should be okay um, if I uh, grab the uh, line here. Actually, we're still short. So, yeah, I might, I might just need to lengthen the trains. Uh, anyway, uh, that's uh, that's going to be all for, for this, uh, this episode here. Uh, we got the... Uh, got a fuel chain going and uh yeah uh so i guess uh next time around i'm not sure what i'll be doing uh i'm i've been trying to uh fix the traffic on the other side of the map and uh yeah uh i haven't uh, had enough time to put to really get focused into it and uh sort that out um but we're going to have some substantial traffic even over here. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so that's that's all for this time. So stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And see you back next time.